Hey there, Eli here, and today I want to talk about how to make the most out of your rituals. First, let's cover the basics real quick before we move on to our strategy. Any monster that spawns within this runic ring around the ritual site counts as being part of that ritual. This means, for example, if a shrine naturally spawns within a ritual ring, all of those monsters count towards that ritual site. What you can't do is drag other monsters in that spawned outside the runic ring. Each map can spawn three or four ritual sites. The total number gets confirmed to you with a button that shows up after you complete your first ritual in the lower right hand part of your screen. In the ritual rewards screen itself, which you can press V on your keyboard to access anywhere on the map, you can either buy an item using ritual points, you can defer an item or defer multiple items, as you can see here, you don't have to defer one at a time, or you can re-roll for 2000 points to get a new set of items. This new set of items may include items that you just deferred from that map, allowing you the potential to double defer. When you defer an item, you pay 15% of its current ritual point cost, which then locks the item for that current roll. Again, you can re-roll to potentially get that item again in the same map. But when it does show up again, either in the next map or after a re-roll, you take off 10% of whatever its current cost was. So for example, if an item were to cost 100 ritual points and you deferred it, you would pay 15 points and the next time you saw it, either in the next map or in the next reroll, it would cost 90. There is a limit to how many times you can defer an item. By the time you max that out, it costs usually under 20 points. There's also a maximum number of items that you can defer, which is 70. So what's the strategy to get the most ritual points out of our rituals? Well, what we want to do is when we go through a map, we don't want to necessarily hit a ritual site as soon as we've cleared it. The best way to consistently earn at least 5,000 ritual points in a map is to go through the map keeping an eye on the ritual sites themselves. What we're looking for is overall number of mobs and mob density within a ritual's runic ring. This means if you come up on a ritual site that's tucked away in a small corner that has like 20 mobs in it, you don't want to press that one until the very end. What we're looking for is ideally a ritual site that has a shrine in it, or some other event that we can force to spawn monsters associated with that ring. And to be associated with a ring just means to spawn within that circle. This does mean that in order to maximize our rituals in a map, we want to go through and keep a mental note as we pass through and kill the monsters to see if there's any particularly dense ones. Because rituals are cumulative, you want to start with the ritual that has the most monsters in it so that all of those monsters that you kill will spawn again in subsequent rituals. Now I know for a lot of you that's going to be a major turnoff. Who wants to run every map twice? Now if you have a super speedy build and you can fly around the map, yes, you might want to clear the whole map, check and see if there's a ritual in the boss room before going back, and keeping a mental note every time and going back through to maximize, starting with the most mob dense, working your way down to the least. This will net you the most ritual points per map, but for a lot of you it's going to be tedious, and it's not really the way that you want to play, it's not enjoyable, it sounds like work. I get it. My recommendation is to take the middle ground on this strategy, and simply don't start with the ritual sites that are obviously bad. Ones that spawn on a bridge, ones that spawn in a corner. The physicality of the ritual site matters quite a bit, because if monsters can't physically spawn there, they won't. I've employed both strategies for a while now and contrasted and compared, and it's fairly easy to get above 5,000 ritual points by doing this middle of the road strategy, where you pick a site that looks pretty good to start and then go from there. Yes, you might have to backtrack a little bit, but it doesn't happen as often as you might think. Now, if we do use the strategy to maximize and really pay attention to how many mobs are spawning and starting with the biggest and moving to the smallest, it's not unusual to average around 6,500 ritual points per map. But you have to keep in mind that this does get affected by monster pack size. So running juiced maps with high pack size, as well as your awakening bonus, which modifies that pack size number, matters quite a bit in this league mechanic. So no matter which strategy you employ, you really do want to get your awakening bonus up as high as you can stand to do. And if you're not sure how to get an awakening bonus, go to your atlas and hover over a map and it will tell you how to get that map's awakening bonus. Another thing that I like to do, and this works really well because I hunt harvests most of the time in Haywork Hamlet, 
is I will add free domination, bloodlines, harbingers into my maps in order to beef up that pack size as much as possible. This helps me boost that overall pack quantity and pack size up to the point where I get to average around 6,500 ritual points per map. Now, if you're like me, your ritual reward screen is filled up with currencies and items that are definitely valuable. But what do we do when we've hit that limit of having 70 items deferred, but not a lot of them are deferred to the point where it's easy to buy them and also defer more things that we find in the map? This is where our ritual vessels come into play. Whenever I hit a particularly juicy map and end up with, say, 8,000 ritual points or 7,000 ritual points, I'll use a ritual vessel on that final ritual in order to capture as many monsters as I can. Then I'll build up a number of them, say three of them, and use all three on a particularly juiced map with a very high pack size number. Use the same min-max strategy of finding the best, most dense ritual sites first and then moving backwards to the least. And then when I'm sitting on a massive amount of ritual points, I'll then buy everything that I've deferred, re-roll, and then buy again. And then we start the cycle all over and do it again. I hope this quick and dirty strategy guide on how to make the most out of your ritual helped you out. If it did, let me know that by subscribing and leaving a comment. Let me know what strategy you use and how you can incorporate this one. Until next time, stay sane, exile.